Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you want to see how I created this beautiful 90s inspired look, then keep on watching. So first of all, I am going to fill in my brows. Like always, I like to start off with the eyes and then move to the skin. For brows, I am just using Spiked Brow Pencil from MAC Cosmetics. I don't want to go really ham over the brows, so I'm just like filling in any gaps. Here I am using P. Louise Base in shade number five, and I'm gonna carve out the brows using that base, and then fill in the lid as well, and that's gonna work as our eyeshadow base. This video is a bit a long one because I wanted to show a bit more depth um, in depth like how I really do everything step by step um, so yeah here I'm just using flat brush filling in her uh, lid and then buffing it out with the tapered blending brush so that we don't have any harsh lines between the skin and the eyeshadow base I'm in a weird mood guys, sorry about that. Now to start off the eyeshadows, um, I am going to use eyeshadow palette by Beauty Bay, collaboration with Mama Mitchell. Um, and the colour I'm using is a dark brown. I popped in to the crease and then I'm trying to like make more like winged out shape and this is the only first eyeshadow color I'm using which is like a cool tone brown eyeshadow Purchase your tracks I then went in and applied a bit more terracotta like brown tiny bit more warm eyeshadow um, just to blend out any harsh lines from the first eyeshadow that I put in and gradually build it up it's really up to you you can start off with the lighter eyeshadow and then increase the intensity uh, by adding dark brown but for this look I started off with the dark brown and then gradually blended it out by using lighter colors now to cut the crease i did not want to go very uh, crisp when it comes to my application that's why i'm using um dense fluffy brush this brush is 239 by mac cosmetics it's a really nice and packing brush for any glitter eyeshadows and things like that but here I'm just using this brush to carve out the crease but not having a really sharp line because I didn't want to have very crisp um, cut crease for this look. Purchase your tracks today. Now to set that, I am going to apply like a cream eyeshadow. Um, this eyeshadow look is matte, so all the eyeshadows I'm gonna apply are matte colors. This is just a you know, fluffy brush and I'm just patting it on uh, the color. Sometimes if I use like a really dense brush to pack on uh, matte eyeshadow, it doesn't come out as nice I, as I want. Um, that's why I was using a bit more fluffy brush. And here I am using my transition color, which was terracotta warm eyeshadow color between the dark brown and my cream eyeshadow to have a really nice and gradient effect rather than very color blocking from light and dark. So you wanna have light, medium and dark. Purchase your tracks today. Again, I'm taking my good time. Then next thing, like always, I am using my Inglot gel liner with a angled brush and I am popping that into her waterline Purchase your 
searches your tracks today. Then to really intensify the look, I wanted to um, go in and put the same gel eyeliner on the lash line as well. And then later on, I'm gonna blend it out using a dense fluffy brush. For some reason, I don't use um, liner very like you know proper block liner anymore um i i find these smudged out liner looks much more softer and just looks beautiful for any skin tone and eye shape as well Then to prep the skin, I use Bobbi Brown Face Enriched Cream. I love this cream so much because it's really hydrating, um, works as a primer as well and smell great. So here I'm just massaging that onto her skin. I then went in and applied Studio Fix Fluid Foundation by MAC Cosmetics in the shade NW47. I like this shade because it's not too warm, it's not too red undertone or or not it's, not, it's not very yellow undertone either, so it's like very neutral colour. And it blended nicely with her, um, with the rest of the body as well and the neck. And like always, I'm using a dense, uh, dense brush to apply that foundation. You can use a beauty sponge, you can use a beauty blender, whatever works for you just not your fingers pat 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 again then I went in and applied concealer um, I started off with the concealer in the shade NC45 it's Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC Purchase. I put it in the back of my hand and I'm applying with the same flat brush <clears throat> Sorry about that. So yeah, the concealer goes underneath the eyes. Um, you know, center of the nose, tiny bit on the forehead, and tiny bit on the bridge as well. And this is just the, um, the first layer of the concealer because for this look, I really wanted to go and have like a proper um bright and dry that's why i layered it so first layer is um just like a normal concealer nothing too bright it is bright you can just leave it like that as well but you know for this look i was feeling a bit a little bit extra um here i'm just using my um sponge to blend it out You can use a brush, yeah, as mentioned in the previous video, um, I do go back and forth between the sponge and the brush when, it, when I'm trying to blend out the concealer so that there is no harsh lines between the foundation and the concealer. Now, um, as I was telling you I mean, earlier on, that I'm going to be extra and apply, um, which is like very, like, you know, it's two to three shade lighter than her skin tone. Um, this is the shade NC42, again, Pro Long Wear Concealer, and snatching her nose. I just love this concealer for so, uh, so many reasons um, because it gives me enough play time um, it doesn't set like you know matte matte because you know if it's set matte it's really hard for me to blend the concealer so that's why I really enjoy it and since it's Pro Long Wear so the longevity of it is, is a plus plus it comes in so many different shades as well different undertones you can't really go wrong with that concealer in my opinion it's very slept on still again i'm blending it out with my sponge pat 
pat, 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 pat. With any small areas, I go back and with a little um, fluffy brush. Now I'm setting the makeup um, and I'm using Fenty Loose Setting Powder in the shade Banana. Uh, with a really nice fluffy brush. And I'm basically setting all the areas where I've used concealer. Purchase your tracks today. So all the areas where I put concealer, I'm using a lighter found it, uh, light setting powder. And for the rest of the face, I use a mineralized skin finish powder in the shade Dark Deepest. Um, really pretty color. And I'm using a massive uh, powder brush. More like patting it rather than sweeping it across the face. If you look at the, the motion that I'm applying this powder, it's more like patting rather than, you know, sweeping it across. Oh, sorry about the ambulance outside, guys. I hope everyone's safe. Lord have mercy. Um, here I am contouring the face using Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW55. Yep, and again, when it comes to contour, you want to start from the outer corner and then bring it uh, inner and don't bring it too in, like, you know, towards your lips because we want to have a snatched look. We don't we don't want our features to, to do drag, basically. Now, for the nose contour, I applied a bit more warmer shade. Uh, this is Deep Dark Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. And I'm blending it into her, you know, start beginning of her brows, basically. Love it. Then, to be even more extra, I then went in and applied Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder under her eyes, um, her nose, her forehead and the chin as well. And that's further gonna help me brighten up um, all the areas. And since I'm gonna use um, eyeshadows under her eyes as a next step, um, is, if, you know, this powder will catch any fallout as well. Again, for the under eye, I'm using my warm brown eyeshadow a dense brush and then just blending it out by the way guys um this model is Rashida she is my best friend um she's a makeup artist as well so I'm gonna link her Instagram down below so I would love for you to go and check her out and give her love and support um, yeah, so I'm just dusting off um, the powder now with the first uh, fluffy brush that I used to set the uh, the face before. Snatched. Then to um, well. For some reason, I couldn't save the um, the video footage of me applying the lashes. I applied the lashes uh, um, by Primer Lash. Um, here I'm doing lips, um, and for lips, as usual, I'm lining the lips with the lip pencil called Chestnut, which is a deep brown um, color by Mac. Then filled in her lips um, using peach stock, which is a beautiful satin Purchase lipstick. It's like one of my favorite lipstick by MAC. Um, and this color literally suits um, any skin tone, whether you're deep skin tone, whether you're medium um, skin tone or really like, you know, um, fair complexion, it suits everyone. 
then going back in with my pencil and blended it out and then I am applying a lip gloss. I mixed two lip glosses, one by Fenty and the other one is by MAC Lust. Again, going back and forward to really make sure the lip pencil is still visible. I don't know why I'm trying to cover all of her face with my hat. Sorry guys, I'm still trying to learn. <laughs> Allow me please. Oh my days, what am I doing please, what am I doing, anyways, now to um, highlight her um, brow bone, I use How Many Carrots by Fenty Beauty, I didn't want to do apply highlighter um, all over her face basically, normally where we would, I just wanted to do the nose and um, her brow bone basically. everything matte except lips basically here is the finished look how stunning does she look please let me know what you think guys thank you bye bye